Hi, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. Today I'm going to be spinning up this beautiful spring garden hand painted merino tops that I have stripped ready for spinning. I will be making some art yarn today. Um, probably thick and thin with some beehives um, with extra long thin sections so I can get extra meters um, on this finished product on the finished product um, let's get started I look for the end that is neatest, neatest to start with. Draft it slightly so you can tie it on. Like so. This is a coarser um, micron than what I normally spin, so drafting will always be a little bit more tougher at the start of your yarn, but once you start going through it, it gets a lot easier. Now here I'm going to form a thick bit for this yarn. So you want to hold it in the front with these two fingers and hold it back about here with this hand and pull it towards here and run these fingers down that and then continue. And again, holding it about 10 centimeters. Pulling it till it's the weakest, holding it at the weakest and letting go of the front and run your hands down. Pinch it together and continue. And again, once you've done this a couple times, it gets a lot easier and you don't even think about doing them. Oh no. This is easy fix, pull that off, put it up about there, continue spinning, draft little bits till it becomes one with the fibre. Oh. 
I will purposely put in some smaller thick bits, which will then be for the beehive. You can have your thin bits as long and as short as you would like. It really does not matter unless you are a weaver and you would like the meters, the extra meters, um, or a crochet, crocheter, or even a knitter. It helps with being able to use the yarn and emphasize the arty bits in your piece. But my mum makes all garments for our mum and me garments out of my hand spun and she's made some beautiful stuff with the different types of thick and thin and beehive yarns that I have made um, including the, the traditional ones with thick and thin the same size um, I'll do one to show you what a traditional thick and thin yarn is like which is thick thin thick thin thick and so forth so now I'm gonna have these couple thick thin thick thin bits in it but I'm going to add a couple of them throughout so it doesn't look funny be random oh there's another one that drove run away pull that off go up to where it started breaking and form the thing I'm going to do thick, thin, they're going to be beehives because they're a bit thinner. This is a bit fray, so I go from where it starts fraying and pull towards me gently and it comes off and you rip it off. I'll show you another trick if I can get it here. Okay. This makes a really cool effect. I do this every second strand um, row and that is you add both ends together and then you get multiple colors 